Crabbers, and this is Super Truck of Elkshake, and I am looking back at between the 2016 and 2017 eras on this channel. By the way, just to let you know, uh... <laughs> let's just say I'm not particularly proud of these eras, in fact, when it comes down to what most of my time I was spending on con gaming content and nothing else. So... yeah. Yeah. And it took me a while to produce some of this content, too. Actually, when it comes down to it, uh... For the very first video I ever uploaded was an I'm Sorry video, and that was just describing why the movie for the Super Mario Bros. review was... I mean, the Super Mario Bros. review was so late. Most of it was just me, me being distracted and trying hard to get it finished, but, you know, ah. Unfortunately, though, the movie, this thing did end up partially blocked because of copyright claims, and to be fair, I... We'll admit this movie really isn't still that that good. I mean, it's kind of fun to watch and make fun of at times, but it's not really that good. So, and but anyway, also moving on, uh, Legend of the Titanic, a fun movie to burn, but really not that good of a movie either. But it is the best out of all three the Titanic movie, all three of those Ita Italian Titanic movies. The other one is. Uh, Oh, it's not The Legend of the Titanic. What was it called? Oh, yeah, The Titanic, The Legend Goes On, and then, of course, the other one, In Search of the Titanic, which, oh, my gosh. Actually, uh, to say which one's far worse, actually, I'd say In Search of the Titanic was one that was way worse than Titanic, The Legend Goes On, but then The Legend of the Titanic was uh, pretty bad, too, so... Yeah, and I know a lot of people may say that this movie is a knockoff of the Legend of Ti the Titanic, The Legend Goes On, but tell you the truth, a lot of people discover the Titanic, The Legend Goes On first over The Legend of the Titanic, which is kind of funny, but, you know, I actually tried to review it in proper order. Well, sort of, actually, the Titanic, uh, In Search of the Titanic actually came out after uh, The Legend Goes On, but, you know, keeping in mind release dates and all that. Anyway... Oh, right. And then, of course, I get into all this walkthrough content. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then, of course, uh, the Hobbit video game. I actually never completed that. And really, I didn't really force myself to complete it either. I might probably come back to that game someday, but I don't know. Oh, and I think I'm at the very top. I wish there was, like, navigation buttons up here again. Something that I really wish they could have done. But oh well. And also, by this point, my walkthrough icons are starting to get a little bit better, but they're still really clunky to look at if you haven't noticed. Oh, yes! And then, of course, this one, the SFFM, the SFM video I did. This was off of a clip from Pinky and the Brain, and you know what? I thought this was absolutely hilarious. Jonesy, at 1900, satellite composite imaging found an unidentified sub off the coast of Newfoundland. They say it might be some trigger-happy rocket jock with a 20-meg party crasher out to make the fat lady sing at the ball game. Which means? I don't know. But it sounds really spooky. By that point, I was starting to get a little bit of a hang of it, but really my characters weren't doing all that much. You could definitely tell, but I was trying to get a little more of a hang on how to work with SFM with all these things. And then, of course, again, this is the Super Mario Bros. movie, the part two, which... Uh, ended up completely blocked. I don't know how. I don't know why. But I can't show it to you on this. I can't. I really can't. Because this video would end up blocked too. Anyway. More walkthroughs. This is a quick little update. I think this is when I got my camera. But I'm not quite sure. Either way. And then. Oh yes. Actually I still do feel this way. Come on. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. Now, don't ask me what went wrong with the voice syncing. The lip syncing there, okay? <laughs> the lip syncing was completely off. I was letting the SFM do its own thing, but, you know. Yeah, I was just messing around with the SFM. It really was something that I was doing at the time. But unfortunately, I don't use it anymore. So, you know. Oh, right, and then this is when I'm talking about Shaolin Chronicles and the Tom and Jerry reboot. Don't like either one of them. Actually, Shaolin Chronicles is a show that really suffers from it doesn't know what it wants to be. Does it want to be a sequel to 
Does it want to be the continuation of Challenge Showdown? Does it want to be a reboot of Challenge Showdown? It really couldn't make up its mind. And it really disregards some of the rules that were set in Challenge Showdown, which is, well, uh, not very good. It really wasn't all that good. But anyway, um, the Tom and Jerry reboot, honestly, I didn't really enjoy the animation to the, um, uh, Sure, there was quite a bit of slapstick and such, but it really wasn't as funny as some of the old-fashioned cartoons, you know, the ones that were done by William Hanna and Joe Barbera. And actually, even to a minor extent, some of the Chuck Jones cartoons were also pretty hilarious, too. But, uh, you know, that's the thing. And also, I've seen the recent Tom and Jerry movie. I have a few things to say about that, but I'll probably say it in another video at another time. Anyway, oh yeah, and I continue on with Culture Shock. <laughs> and then me and my friend decide to start playing Epic Mickey 2, which is something that, well, unfortunately ended up being kind of short-lived, despite having quite a few funny moments in it. Oh yeah, this is the very first Mini Bites video I think I ever did? I think? But anyway, like I said, primarily it's all just gaming content, really. <laughs> it is just gaming content. Oh, okay, besides a few SFM videos here and there. Including this one. Where, oh, <laughs> the title pretty much says it all. You must head to a place where overweight, middle-aged people go to party and throw away money. Capitol Hill? <laughs> okay, that's another pinky in the brain clip, okay? Actually, I kind of loved kind of reanimating some of those. And honestly, I thought, you know what? If one's going to be the genius and one of them's going to be insane, to a place I figured, why not have the medic be the genius and Scout be the insane one, huh? I mean, that would work out perfectly. <laughs> Aged people go to party and throw away money. But I don't know what happened with the limp sync here. SFM's lip sync service is a little weird and wacky and off. Okay, CD bass closet breakdown. Fun Friend Fridays, Jeep Thrills. Actually, that one was pretty fun to do, but it, we didn't really talk very much. I think by that point, I think we were both getting worn out. But yeah, this is all gaming content. Oh yeah, and this was back when my room used to look a heck of a lot different. You could definitely compare right now, because, um, uh, you know, my computer desk used to be over there when I made that video. Made to be, was over there when I made that video. In this video, I think it's... Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's check out the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still over there. And, uh, oh, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So everything, okay, there's the, okay. The bookshelf used to be over there. Now it's over there. That, actually, yeah, that used to be over there, but I moved it over there. And, uh, ba, ba, ba. 10,000 views on my channel. I thought it happens. Oh, uh, and I did clean up, and I had a much cleaner desk. Come on. Show me the... Okay, enough magic. Enough. Ah, there we go. Good. Yeah. All right. So, this is basically where the magic happens. Yes, I'm on Sourceful. I'm using the source filmmaker right now. And uh, this is where... Yeah, I had a clock right in front know, of me, too. Guys, like I said, but I kind happens. of removed that I because most of my piano videos, taken I play, away. I play my games By the way, this thing. As for matter... $100 piano bought for 10 bucks. <laughs> Don't ask how I manage that. Yeah, my setup doesn't look nearly as good as uh, well, actually, you know, it, it does look fairly good, but, you know, I change it up every once in a while, you know? Gotta have something different. Anyway, am I up at the top? Yep, I'm up at the top. And all this is just walkthrough content. Sheesh, Luis, I'm not gonna have very much to say because most of this stuff is just nothing but walkthrough content. Oh, yeah, besides the Weblum's announcement and the fact that I got a Patreon at this time. Which I don't really use. I still have it, it's just I don't use it, and nobody's ever donated to it, so, you know, oh, yeah, and then this one where I actually decided to try to do something a little bit different using Seth Power Director and um, uh, Source Filmmaker, but uh, it doesn't really necessarily work. Oh, yeah, and I remember cooking those eggs, too. They weren't that spicy. <laughs> Okay, that video was actually just fun. We, I was just staring into the camera for five minutes straight, unblinking, which I could probably still do today. It's freaky. It's really freaky, folks. Anyway. 
Oh, well, yeah. Then, of course, I decided to talk about where I was at because, um, uh, unfortunately, I uh, ended up disappearing for a little bit, as you could definitely tell. But, well, actually, no. Whereabouts of this channel? Wait a second. Oh, well, was that just an update just to let you know where the channel was going or something like that? I forget. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and then more Sonic multiplayer and such. Uh, and then, of course, we ended up doing more walkthroughs. Oh, yes, and then this one. I decided to hide this one because a lot of people didn't like it. I was talking about Garfield cart and, um, uh... <laughs> M&M's cart. And trust me, neither one of those games is really fun. I got Garfield cart on the DS for $30. $30! <laughs> 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 They also have a sequel to it, too, and it's like, why did it warrant a sequel? The game was bland and boring. I mean, sure, there are some fun things, and actually, I did like a few songs, but I didn't like them all. And honestly, it only sounded like something that I would make fun of in a few seconds. Oh, yeah, Dinosaur Activity Center. I remember that game. I was surprised that it worked on Windows 10, and actually, not to lie, I don't know why this video is so popular, too. It's kind of like um, uh, the Bolt review. Why was that video so popular? <laughs> it's just be beyond me. But honestly, this video here just kind of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, this video was actually rather interesting for me to make. And to tell you the truth, actually, I did have a little bit of fun with the game. Actually, there were some interesting concepts with the game that I think could have worked out. But they didn't necessarily work out very well, per se, in this game. Actually, some of them could be remarketed and rebanded, but, you know... Oh yeah, more Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. And then Toon Sylvania. Actually, I've got to admit, I actually liked uh, Toon Sylvania, actually. It's another one of those Steven Spielberg cartoons that Steven Spielberg produced. And actually, i got to say, it's probably one of the more... It's one of the more interesting ones. This one actually doesn't have... Um, uh, oh... Tom Ruger. This one does not have Tom Ruger as the producer. But honestly, it still ends up being a really good cartoon. And actually still somewhere meets up to the bar of quality up to, like, um, uh, Hysteria or Freakazoid, Tiny Toons, and even Animaniacs. And I heard that there's quite a few people who actually find that video interesting. And more FNAF content, more FNAF content. This review! I don't know how it's still popular either. Considering that it's also sitting at 12 likes and 7 dislikes, which is almost a 50-50 ratio. <laughs> but I don't know how this video is so popular. I'm not necessarily proud of this review either, but I was having quite a bit of fun with it, though. So, okay, where am I? Oh, yeah, and this is when I actually uh, ended up uh, not posting anything until... Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's just say I ended up posting my recap for the month of scares at the middle of all November instead of at the end of month of scares, which is kind of ridiculous, but, you know. But my friend has helped me out quite a bit throughout the month of scares, and really it's kind of fun. More walkthrough content. Oh, yes, and then the Grinch demo content. Actually, I had a lot of fun with this content, too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Alright, and now we're into the 2017 era, which I actually started this one out with, um, uh, oh my. The legend lives. Hello, wall. Oh my gosh. I think I have a friend who's going to remember this. And Price of Wiz, if you're watching this video, you're probably going to go like, yep, hello, wall. Because, <laughs> i tell you the truth, I was trying to drive as normally as I possibly can, and Michael was all over the place. Actually, I lose a race, considering the fa Okay, there is actually one race where I was racing against him, and I lost trying to drive normally, and he won by hitting every single wall in existence. <laughs> I, I remember, I, I definitely remember that though. That's absolutely hilarious. Anyway, this is also when I decided to get a little bit even better with my walk. Actually, these are probably like the best walkthrough thumbnails I've ever came up with, but uh, they're probably not the most clickable ones, but they're probably the best looking ones that I've had so far. And, uh, well, I decided to just do some more gaming content. Again, more, okay, yes, yeah, so this one. Which, actually, this one, I think we discovered where Knuckles is truthfully the fastest thing alive. Because <laughs> I was racing as Sonic and, uh, Impression Wiz. Michael was racing as Knuckles. And he beat me every single time. <laughs> so it's a known meme that 
Sonic is not the fastest thing alive. Knuckles is. <laughs> anyway, oh yes, and then of course, um, uh, Monkey Island, I remember that series. Oh yes, and then Nintendo, please don't let the Switch die. They haven't, really. Actually, the Switch has been doing super well. Um, I'm actually happy for it, too. Um, the one thing that I still do have a bit of a problem, though, was that they didn't have a packing game, which, honestly, I think 1-2-Switch would have worked with that, because then, of course, people would have been getting 1-2-Switch for absolutely free, and, actually, I think a lot of people would have, uh... I think a lot of people would have appreciated that, actually. Not gonna lie. Um... Because, <laughs> tell you the truth, 1-2-Switch is just... Uh, it's not even a game in general, actually. I don't... I own the game, but I don't even play it. I don't even touch it. I don't even look at it. In fact, sometimes I wonder if I should just sell it. But then, of course, at the same time, I don't think I'm going to get very much from it if I do sell it secondhand, because it's really not that good of a game. It's probably one of the worst Nintendo games I've ever played. Breath of the Wild was a much better launch title, though. I got to admit. Okay, then. And then Sonic CD. Oh, yeah. Wait, was this the part where I actually put in a walk? Oh, yeah! 2017 was when I got a walkthrough camera! Oh, I remember! I remember now! Okay, yes, this is when I first started the walkthrough cam thing, and I had it in this really ugly-looking border. Um, I'm just going to click on this to show you. Oh... Uh... See? This is when I had that Hello, very ugly walkthrough and border. And it looks a lot better now, though. It looks a heck of a lot better now, actually. I have it animated. I have some weird things going on here and there. You know, that sort of thing. So, okay. Anyway, I'm up at the top here. And basically, this is just an update. I wanted to do a little bit of a SFM video on a sketch for, for a video on Russia. But then I kind of gave up on SFM at that point. Because... Well, let's face it, it's very clunky to use. I'm not really a big fan of how clunky the interface is, and I'm not really a big fan of how clunky some of the timing is, and how to adjust, and how clunky adjusting the timing is, and all that other stuff. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I would personally rather just use, like, a rather good old fashioned 2D animation program. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Sail of the ship across the sea from Monkey Island. Yep, I remember that. I, st I would like to play Monkey Island 2 sometime, but, you know. Anyway. Meet the Barka Shark Raft Mini Bites. Oh, yeah, I remember playing that earlier prototype of Raft. Actually, I played it on my own spare time and built a raft that was massive and was catching a whole lot of things. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, and then uh, In Search of the Titanic, yes, this movie was absolutely bad. Like, horrendously bad. There was only one scene that redeemed it, but honestly, they don't really explain the Forget Ray very much either, so, you know, it doesn't necessarily make sense, but it was absolutely funny. <laughs> uh, considering, uh, uh, yeah, it, it was kind of funny. You might just want to watch this video yourself to see, um... Uh, it'll be up, okay? It's all up until March 31st, and then after March 31st, this is all going to go away, okay? So, please, keep that in mind. Okay, I click little reminder, March 9th. Oh, yeah, and I bet you that's probably because of my birthday coming up. This was for my other anniversary. It's been five years already. March 13th, 2017. Yeah, yeah, it has been five years since 2012. And 2021, yeah, it's been nine years. Okay. <laughs> And I kept, made another quick little look back and such, and then did a review on the Switch on my birthday, and then 1-2-Switch, played 1-2-Switch my good friend, and then played some uh, <laughs> Lego games with my sister and uh, my good friend Michael. <laughs> and then, of course, I did some more videos that are walkthrough stuff in an April Fool's Day video, which is very short and dumb. So, you know... <laughs> Mario Kart! Oh yeah, getting ready for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I remember that. Um, <laughs> me and Michael were playing the battle mode, and honestly, I'm still upset that Funky Arena is still not a part of Mario Kart. Really. Honestly, that, that level from Mario Kart Wii is so much fun. I really wish they'd just bring it back, you know? Even if not, they could just do DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Please! Just please bring Funky's Arena back! Anyway, 
More Sam and Max content. Uh, Bobo, the bouncing. Oh, yeah, this was back when the um, uh, Alpha was out, and I was just playing it, and then all of a sudden I recorded, oh, this. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Load. Load. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me how I encountered this glitch, okay? I just did. This was the early alpha version of, by the way. Or the beta build, anyway. Actually, I remember having a lot of fun playing that beta build. It was a lot of fun. But the final version's just as fun, too, so, you know. Fun Friend Fridays, Mario Kart Wii versus versus mode, and I'm not flirt- Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember talking to Rosalie <laughs> on that one, and it's like, oh, jeez. Yes, it didn't crash. Oh, yeah, that's because I was playing it on my laptop. Wait a second. When did I get my computer again? Maybe I got it in 2017. I forget! I forget when I got my Dell X- Yo, wait, no, it was- Okay, okay, yes, I was playing it on my laptop because, unfortunately, when I upgraded my computer to Windows 10, all the Sam and Max games stopped working. All except for the Devil's Playhouse ones. So unfortunately, I was only able to play it on my laptop, but now I could actually be able to get them working on this thing. So basically, I could play them at higher resolutions, which is pretty nice. But, you know, fun friend... Oh, wait, John sucks? Oh, yeah, that's because Michael's better at this game than me. Fun, fun, need for Speed Nitro, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yes, I have played it. Granted, it is a bit fun, but honestly, I don't think it's nearly as fun as Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed or some of the older Need for Speed games. I really do kind of miss some of the older Need for Speed games. That's back when EA put a lot of heart and soul into it. But anyway. I'm still here. I remember that. Another quick update. Tesla similar. Man, oh man. A lot of walkthrough content. A lot of walkthrough content throughout this uh, entire thing. Yes. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, Breath of the Wild. Wait. When did I start that? I started, okay, no, three, one, right here, uh, no, I start, uh, where did I start Breath of the Wild, okay, right there, there we go, I, I started it right here, gosh, dang it, John, <laughs> why couldn't you remember where you started the Breath of the Wild walkthrough, and then, of course, you also started talking with, um, uh, Pac-Man World, which I actually wanted to do the entire series, because I actually have, own all three games now, but, unfortunately, um, I never really went through with it because of a lot of various reasons, especially with the fact that it's kind of hard to set up the PS2 to record, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> old Man Bane is a ghost. Yeah, I had a meme where it was like the old man, you know, I wanted to make him sound a little like this, you know? A bit old, but not sounding too old, and he almost sounds like Bane. <laughs> He's wondering why you want to shoot a man before you throw him out of a plane. <laughs> you know? <laughs> anyway, will you press the button? Well, will you? Oh, yeah, I remember that. And that was the very first time I tested OBS, too. And that's also when I decided to make my uh, thing a little more sleeker and easier for me to edit, which, of course, did help. Uh, yeah, I was testing OBS with both these things, and honestly, I've used OBS for most of my streaming purposes. But anyway, oh, yeah, and then the DuckTales reboot. I remember that. Actually, it's kind of sad that they ended up canceling it after Season 3. I mean, I really wish it could have went somewhere, especially with the shush plot, but, uh, well, I guess they had to do what they had to do. And honestly, because they moved it back to D Disney DX, which is probably one of the lowest viewership ratings they could possibly ask for, uh, well, it ended up with some of the lowest viewership ratings that they could possibly ask because nobody watches Disney DX! Uh, sadly, they're... Sadly, I guess that's kind of how the show ended up being canceled, but I definitely do enjoy the DuckTales reboot. And I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that they do a Darkwing Duck reboot. Seriously. I would love to see that. Anyway. Oh, an Acme Arsenal. I remember, okay, actually, I played that a while ago. Okay, yeah, right there. But we played Acme Arsenal, me and my friend did. And, oh my gosh, we had one of the hilar most hilarious moments happen inside this game in this very video. Where I was sitting there singing along, going like, Rick could be a pop singer. And then Michael, inside of Taz-like voice, says, don't quit your day job. And oh my gosh, it's hilarious. You might want to watch the video to see. Pac-Man World Part 2, fall, failing in a level. Yep, yep, yep. 
I don't know how this video is so popular. Honestly, I think it's one of the most boring videos I've ever did. And yet, it's still got 2,908 views! How on earth is it still getting views?! <laughs> how on earth is it still getting views?! I have no idea. And 23 likes to 2 likes?! How are people liking it?! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, and then the... I did the PC remake demo, which, by the way, is more fully fleshed out than it's ever been, but uh, I'm not going to lie. Actually, I'm kind of excited for this whole thing to drop because, uh, well, to tell you the truth, this guy is doing a really good job with it, and I've actually enjoyed playing the um, uh, PC remake so far, even if I'm having a little bit of a hard time understanding some of the controls and such. Okay, and then Pac-Man World 3, Part 3, yep, okay, then... And then, of course, we did the Month of Scares stuff again, which, again, is mostly walkthrough content, but I actually had a lot of fun with this stuff. Oh, and a nightmare, which basically was just about me getting invited to a mysterious theme park, ended up on side a ship with a lot of people who were just standing there, had these really big, surreal, goofy grins on their face, and they were just sitting there waving their hands at, at everybody who was invited onto the ship, which is including me. And then, eventually, after we got onto the ship, we got d dumped on an island that had trash, parked rusty cars, and broken robots all over. Then, of course, that night, I... And then, of course, um, uh, the night that we ended up inside checking into that hotel inside this dream, basically, we ended up sleeping inside the lobby because all the rooms were bad, and the... Because the rooms are bad, and um, uh, the elevator just wasn't working, and we couldn't take the stairs either. Back dilapidated. But then that night, the elevator decided to go down the building. It opened up, and there was a big, huge river of blood coming from it. I talk about a shining moment right there. But, like, this big, huge l river of blood goes down the roof down into the hotel lobby, floods out the hotel lobby. We were lucky enough to escape, and we landed on top of the roof of the cars, and the, rev and the blood only stayed up to that point. And then when it receded, the robots came to life and started attacking. By that point, we decided we all ran. Somehow, I got pushed onto a roller coaster, and um, uh, a lot of freaky things started happening on this roller coaster. Thankfully, the bars weren't down on me, so I managed to jump off before the roller coaster went into, like, a big old grinder. And I landed on a big pile of soft, squishy flesh, and that's when I woke up. It, it was a bizarre nightmare. Like, really. A really bizarre nightmare. But, holy moly. Ugh. Oh, yeah, and then Scary Godmother. I don't know why, but I actually ended up liking this cartoon. I liked this movie. I don't know why. It had a lot of charm to it, despite the fact that the animation was kind of clunky and such. And my good friend helped me out on this one as well. But, tell you the truth, <laughs> this one was kind of fun to do, and I'm not going to lie, I still seen the sequel, and I don't think the sequel's very good. But, uh, this one is actually pretty good in my book. Oh yeah, and then of course I ended up floundering, and then I did a hat and time walkthrough, which, by the way, I didn't really necessarily go anywhere with. I think this is the last video I did. The medic is ready for Christmas, which, of course, you should just watch for yourselves. Oh, come on! Dear Santa, I have been ever so good this year. I would like a new mallet and a shiny brass anvil. Yeah, I was trying to put in a little more life, but I didn't necessarily do all that good of a job either. Okay, let's see. Do I have any more videos in 2016 that I should be aware about? Or 2017, I mean? Yep. Oh, yeah, a Patreon update and then the gift-giving tour, and then that's it. That's it. Everything else is pretty much uh, January of 2018. So, if you like this video, wow, we I did manage to keep it short. Okay, please be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. The Super Talk About Cheek signing off. Definitely the most hastily ended video I've ever did, isn't it?